What are the green flags, the, the, the great qualities that you're looking for when you see somebody's resume? What is it that makes you go, okay, this person, call that person? Yeah. I don't get too fascinated by resume. I, 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 I mean, it's good to have experience, but when I have that conversation with people, five to 10 minutes into the conversation. We can tell. I can tell. Yeah. Right? There's, there is always that connection and it's never been wrong for me. Um, but definitely there's some qualities you definitely want to see in people, especially it depends on the role too, right? For a food industry, you don't really put so much expectations in, in, in qualities because especially most of the people we hired so far, we have to go through training and all that kind of stuff. But for my beverage company, it's more very, um, you know, there are a lot of characteristics that we look at to be able to make sure that you like charisma, punctuality. Yeah, relationship. Hardworking. Yeah, hardworking. And, you know, I, I also look at um, how long the person has been in the company too. So, <laughs> I, because I, I never jumped around. So, <laughs> it's always very key for me because I, I find that if people stay in a company at least two years, um, you know, they, they like to stay. That shows they are more yeah. reliable. Yeah. Yeah, right. And, uh, you know, I always say that we are our main enemies as well, right? Our biggest battles are against ourselves. What mistakes have you seen people do working for you or trying to work for you? Did it go, man or girl, just help yourself? Um, you know... It <laughs> We are human beings. We make mistakes. Yeah. Um, and, and sometimes, you know, especially in the food industry, there's some mistakes that cannot be not not acceptable, especially when you're feeding people, right? Um, for me, my approach is I tell people, hey, when you make mistakes, I'm like, think about it. Put yourself in this person's shoes. Would you like to be stiff or you know, treated this way as, as a customer. So for example, maybe somebody's trying to like serve like already bought foods to a customer. And I'm like, Hey, stop. If you're the customer on the other side and somebody gives you this food, would you like it? And then they say, no, I'm like, so that means this is what you're doing is wrong. So you have to fix it. Um, but yeah, you know, all the situations, you know, like that, that happens, but Sometimes when things happen, you know, it depends what mistakes has been made. You could call them and talk to them and say, hey, this was done wrong. You know, this is the expectation of how you should mm -hmm. do differently. So for someone who wants to follow your footsteps, can you give us some practical pieces of advice on, you know, try to do this and this besides being punctual, being resilient, etc. Try to do this. And then once you do that, do that and then focus on that like uh, being a being a generalist mentor here what would you say to someone who wants to follow your footsteps first of all discover what you like what you want to do yeah. very key it's very important because to be to be successful in what you're trying to do you have to have that passion and love for what you're doing um research is very important see if you're venturing into anything or trying to find it, find yourself doing anything you need to find out information about the environment, what you're trying to do, uh, what are the pros or the cons, uh, who do I talk to to give me advice and what approach. That's one of the other ways that I would advise whoever, somebody who wants to be in my own shoes um, and also try to open up. Don't be too rigid, be social, try to connect with people.